On a dark, stormy night, Mike Zero was making a video. This is Mike Zero, future Star Wars content. The house started to rumble. It was the Gorlock. Mike! Mike! What do you want? I'm busy making future Star Wars content. I need more food! Food! Now, the thing is, I gave you $1,000 last week. What happened to it? I spent it on pizza! Give me more! Growing frustrated with the Gorlock, Mike Zero snapped. I don't have anything more to give you. That's why I'm making future Star Wars content. Ah, oh, you're useless! Your channel is dying! I'm breaking up with you! No, no, you can't do this! And I've been cheating on you with Star Wars Meg! You stupid cunt! Tent! I don't need you! I'm Mike Zero! Mike Zero stood in shock. The loss of the Gorlock deeply saddened him. He looked at his dartboard. Mike Zero had a flashback. Remembering the day he first received the dartboard. I know how you said you liked darts on our first date at Old Country Buffet, so I got you a dartboard! Wow, thank you, you're so thoughtful. This is Mike Zero. Now let's finish this pizza and have sex with me! Mike Zero became enraged. He hated the dartboard. He needed to get rid of it. He needed to cleanse the Gorlock out of his life. In furious anger, Mike Zero grabbed the dartboard and put it in a trash bag and took it outside to the curb. The dartboard was no more. The future Star Wars content would go on without the dartboard. But in the middle of the night, a miracle happened. Lightning struck the ground. This created a shockwave, hitting the water on the ground the garbage bag was jolted, breaking free of the garbage bag. The dartboard was alive. The dartboard thought about returning to the Zero residence, but he remembered how he was thrown out in the trash. It was time. The dartboard started a new life, a sentient life. Two months later, Mike Zero's dartboard is working a job cleaning tables at Harry's. Hey, dartboard! I made a mess! You going to clean it up? <laughs> yes, sir, rain a whim. Woohoo! It smells right in here! You smell that, fellas? We got ourselves a fart board here! I'm a dartboard, not a fart board. The man makes another mess. Hey, fart board! Get your big circular ass over here and clean up my mess! <laughs> no. What did you say, fart board? I can't hear you because it smells so bad. Pee you! That's a fart board right there. You made the mess on purpose. You clean it up. Hey, guys! We have ourselves a dart board that doesn't want to do his job. Let's throw darts at him. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. I got myself a bullseye. <laughs> hey. I got myself a triple 20. 38 points for me. <laughs> Eli, you're a retard. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can't have you whoring yourself out on the job. I was physically assaulted and violated with darts. This is discrimination. You're a dartboard. Hey, I have just as much rights as you. You're a dartboard, and you're fired. The dartboard was assaulted, fired, and now he had to tell his roommate. He can't make the rent. I'm going to be short on the rent this month, Darth Blaze. Whoa, man, that sucks, man. Getting fired. 
Hey man, wanna fire up this joint, man? Darth, blaze it up, man. Whoa, man, this is some real good stuff, man. Oh shit, this hits the bullseye. Dude, man, it sucks he got fired, man. You're a good guy, man. Yeah, I just can't get ahead in this world. Yeah, man, all the humans and corporations are bringing you down. Like, dartboards matter, man. Suddenly, the dartboard had a great idea. Bro, you're right. Dartboards matter. Yeah, man, dartboards, like, entertain people and... Dartboard lives matter. It was that night. Mike Zero's dartboard started a movement for dartboards everywhere. I will not let biological beings tell me my feelings don't matter. I will not let biological beings sexually assault me with foreign objects just because I'm a non-traditional life form. This isn't about liberalism, conservatism. This is a basic right to life. Dartboard lives matter. Hello everybody, my name is Freddy the Dartboard, and I'm a non-binary, non-species conforming sentient being. My pronouns are Z's M, but on Fridays they are they them, and any moment during the week I may go by she her. I'm very happy for the movement Dartboard Lives Matter. Next week I'm having bullseye affirming surgery. Mike Zero's Dartboard went on to grow the movement Dartboard Lives Matter. He sued his former employer and won a $20 million settlement. But despite all the money, the fame, and the respect of humans, Mike Zero's dartboard needed some closure. On the third anniversary of their departure, he went to see Mike Zero. Hello, Mike. This is Mike Zero. Who are you? It's me, your dartboard. Oh my, this is Star Wars content. How are you? Now, the thing is, I'm doing very well. I no longer make future Star Wars content. I expanded the channel and provide updates. You look good, man. I'm happy to see you. Hey, I'm sorry I threw you out in the trash. How would you like to live with me again? Be in the videos. This is Mike Zero. It's something Mike Zero's dartboard has dreamed about for three years returning to his previous role with Mike Zero. We did kill it with those videos. Yeah, the thing is, after I kicked you out, I realized I'm a stupid clickbait piece of shit. People only watch because of you, the dartboard. Really? Yeah, so why don't you make sure to hit the like and subscribe and we'll catch them all next time. The dartboard swallowed hard held back tears, even though the acts aren't physically possible. I'd love to, Mike. But... I can't. There's other dartboards, other sentient objects out there, that need me. I understand. We'll always have past future Star Wars content. Perhaps one day, one day I'll come back and we'll make more videos. I'd like that. I love you, man. Now, the thing is, I love you too. Mike Zero's dartboard and Mike Zero hugged each other for several minutes. Mike Zero was sad to see his friend go, but deep down, he knew this wasn't the end. When the dartboard felt he had fulfilled his life ambitions, he would certainly return to make further future Star Wars content. Until that day, Mike Zero will wait for his friend to come home for good.